Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome all uh, in today's video lecture. Uh, today we are going to show you the fractional factorial design using Minitab. To begin with these things, let me introduce myself. I am Shobhan Sharkar, the PhD student in the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, IIT Kharagpur, and also the teaching assistant of the subject of design and analysis of experiments. To begin with these things, uh, let me have a content in today's lecture. There is a fractional factorial design, the steps through the example and the references are given. To begin with these things, we have to first uh, start with an example. This example is a chemical product is produced in a pressure vessel. A factorial experiment is carried out in the pilot plant to study the factors and through to uh, thought to influence the filtration rate of this product. The four factors are temperature, pressure, concentration of formaldehyde, stirring rate. So, these four factors are abbreviated as A, B, C and D. Each factor is present at two levels. The design matrix and the response data obtained from a single replicate of 2 to the power 4 experiment are shown in table 1 and figure 1. The 16 runs are made in random order. The process engineer is interested in maximizing the filtration rate. So, here in table 1 we can see there are four factors A, B, C and D is a run level. 1 A B A B C A C B C A B C D A D B D A B D C D A C D B C D and A B C D and they are corresponding filtration rate and this is the design. So, in this design we have to show how to conduct the fractional factorial design. So, in that case one half fraction of 2 to the 4 design will have to be conducted. So, 2 to the power 4 design if we conduct these things, so we have to select the design 2 to the power 4 minus 1 design with resolution 4 and i equal to a b c d. So, this is the data and this is the corresponding design. From this data we have selected 8 runs and with basic designs a b and c d is the generated from a b c d a b c. So, corresponding plus minus signs are given a for a the plus minus sign are minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus for b minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus for c minus 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 plus 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 for d it is just product of this as you know that is a minus minus and minus the product is minus plus minus minus is plus. Similarly, minus plus plus minus plus minus minus plus. So, treatment combination we have got from the from this table and their corresponding filtration rate. So, now we are going to show you how this can be analyzed through mini tab. So, from these things we have just write it down in excel file this run and the filtration rate that is 1 to up to 8 runs and the filtration rate up to corresponding run the filtration rate is recorded. So, first we open the excel file we have copied it into this excel file for our future references. So, first open mini tab window initially we have to copy this thing ultimately it will be used later, but initially we have to copy it. 
So, after copying this thing you can see the run and filtration rate are shown in the minute of environment. So, after that click the stat bar under the stat bar DOE option is there. So, and then under DOE factorial option is there and under factorial create factorial design option is available. So, after clicking it we have got a set of options under the type of design then number of factors then display available designs then designs and the factors options results will be coming one by one. In that case in our particular case we are selecting two level factor factorial specify generator. Display design available for our case is resolution 4 maximum resolution 4 then coming to the number of factors here our design is as you can see our design is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 basically the basic design becomes 2 to the power 3 design as here the basic design you can see a b and c are the basic design. So, here we can select 3 design then click the designs here we will select the full factorial for the 2 to the power 3. Here the design is to full factorial runs is 8 resolution is full and 2 to the power 3 design. Design generators we have to specify here the design generator if you look back into the slide we can see that design generator is D equal to ABC. So, we will have to put it into the slide. Once we complete these things we will click ok. Then these options are available initially it was not available now they are available factors options and results. So, clicking the factors we can see these are all the factors we can see A, B, C and D. So, the here is name we can easily name them, but for the sake of the uh, easy handling we name we do not name this we only keep the abbreviation as it is that is A, B, C and D. It is a numeric type not takes it is a high level and low level abbreviated as plus 1 and minus 1 respectively. So, click it ok. Then go to the options here in this options we can see the fold design fraction designs. So, in fold design we do not fold we are not going to show you the fold over fold on all factors it is a very simple straightforward uh, applications without folding. So, we keep it is as it is. So, here in this fraction we will use the principal fraction that is i is equal to abcd. So, click ok go to the result section we are not going to do anything with it. So, leave as it is. So, click ok. So, once we click ok it ultimately leads you a generation of another worksheet you can see minutely the worksheet 2 initially it was worksheet 1 now it becomes worksheet 2 with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 columns initially uh, we have to first select and uh, make it order the standard order column here as you can see it is placed in random 1 6 7 5 4 3 2 and 8. So, we have to keep it in order. So, to in order to keep it in order we have to first select stat then coming to the DOE then click the display design here this option. Once you click it the options would come that order for all points in the worksheet. So, we will uh, click it the second option the standard order for the design and click it ok. Now, we can see the order has been maintained 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8 and the corresponding run order is also given the A, B, C, D under the A, B, C, D plus minus are arranged in a proper manner. Now, this is the time to put the corresponding 
filtration value. not going to do anything with it covariates options so many options are available 95 percent confidence level is given two sided test we are going to do it is a by default setting so is there any requirement of transformation of the data no requirement no transformation it is a by default setting so we are not going to alter them at all so we leave it as it is by clicking ok now click the stepwise again also we are not going to do anything with it so method is nothing here we are not going to do any stepwise forward selection and the backward selection the by default selection by default method we are doing here so clicking the graph here so many graphs are available you can see fx plot pareto normal half normal if you want to get so you can also get the half normal the residuals for uh, plot for regular standard uh, standardized and deleted and residual plots for individual plots for histogram normal plots residuals versus fit residual versus order so we are going to see these things in a same window so four in one after that click ok then results leave it as it is then storage uh, nothing to do with it but if anyone wants to get the value of cooks distance leverages residuals feeds effects coefficient design matrix one may easily opt for that but here we are not going to show it here anything after clicking this we are getting these values So, as you can see in this uh, output results, the Pareto chart we are getting. Here, the effects that is AD, A, AC, D, and C seem to be very important, and this is an effect chart. And based on these things, we, are, we can easily neglect the B and AV. This is a normal plot for the effects with alpha is equal to 0 0.05. And here is the results we can see. So, coming to the uh, starting point, we can see that it is a fractional factorial design, it is a one half fraction basically. So, fact factors which were initially taken were 4, basic design is 3, then resolution is 4, run we have considered is 8 because it is a one half fraction. So, initially it was consist of the uh, 16 design so one half fraction it means in the principal fraction consisting of only 8 runs where it is shows in replicates is one replicates fraction is one half blocks is one design generated d is equal to abc so here in the fractional re regression we can see the analysis of variance and what table we can see the a b c d then to your interaction a b a c a d we have to keep it in mind that b variable is not significant that is why also the a b can be neglected and a also b can also be neglected. So, a c d a c and a d are the significant factors. So, ultimately we can get also the effect of each of the term a b c d a, B, A, C, A, D for all terms we are getting the effects 
value. For example, for A, the effect estimate is 19, for B, it is a 1.5, C is 14, D is 16.5, similarly for all. As a, we have already uh, experienced from the Pareto plot that B value is very less and AB value is very less, we can also see from here. So, A, C, D holding the very high value that is a 19, 14, 16 and corresponding A, C and A, D are also holding the very higher values. So, corresponding coefficients are also given, the p value is also given and finally, we are getting the regression equation of filtration rate which has been considered as the output variable. So, filtration rate is 70.75 plus 9.5 a, if we neglect this then as 0.75 b should be neglected then, then 7 c 8.25 d minus 0.5 a b minus 9.25 a c plus 9.5 a d. Here if we consider if we neglect the b and a b then left of the portion will be the final filtration rate equation, regression equation for the filtration rate. So, it is this LSS structure i plus a b c d, a plus b c d, b plus a c d, c plus a, a, b, a b d, d plus a b c, a b plus c d, a c plus b d, a d plus b c. So, coming to the PPT presentation, we can show you all the steps, you can follow the all the steps very clearly and practice it in your own laptop. So, step 1, step 2, step 3, 4, 5, choosing the design, step 6, design generator, step, step 7, factors and their levels, step 8, fold over design, whether we are going to choose it or not, then printed results, what exactly we are going to get the results, the new form of data as we have discussed already, then display the design, it is required to make it order and finally, the new data worksheet was generated, then filtration rate was inserted. Using these things, then we can go for the analyze the factorial variable, factorial design. Then filtration is selected as response, this Pareto chart is generated and A, C, D, A, C and A, D are found to be very significant factors and this ANOVA table. Thank you.